Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, KB. And in this video, I want to show you guys what are the bugs and issues in Windows 10 1909 after you update or do the clean install. So before that, this is what happened in my last video of Windows 10 1909. OBS Studio Display Capture does not work. I even reinstalled my OBS Studio and did everything Nothing is working, I don't know why. So yeah, I got the problem related to OBS because I wasn't able to record my desktop. So that problem is, I'm not too sure if that is from the Microsoft side or the graphic provider like Intel or Nvidia. So I'm sure that this problem is only for those people who have a dual graphic card. For example, if you have an Intel graphic card and the NVIDIA or Intel or AMD, you will get this problem no matter what. So let me show you. So first thing right now, it works because I did the clean install. But actually, even after I did the clean install, I wasn't able to record because there is a problem. Tiny, but big problem for normal people who can't figure out how to do the things <laughs> actually i did the research a lot I, I couldn't find the answer that why my obs is not working in my windows 10 1909 so first thing what i did was go to the display settings okay and scroll down until you see this option graphics settings click on it and after that you can see obs is listed here so to fix the my OBS studio desktop recording I chose the classic option there's a two options so classic option and after that click browse and after that locate where your OBS is installed so I'm gonna go there and bin and okay and after that you can see this, this is the OBS 64 so I'm just gonna add this like that and after that you will see option and remove so you just have to click on options okay and it will bring the new settings so here you can see description about power saving gpu and the high performance gpu so power saving means you will have to use the intel high performance mean you will have to use the nvidia so to actually record the desktop in dual graphic card you have to use the intel okay so for that i have to choose power saving and after that i did that and relaunched my obs you can see this is working okay so that's the thing that's how i fix it and i couldn't find the answer and i did it by myself believe it or not okay so that's how i fix it so reason why this happens is because if you right click on the obs you can see there is an option run with the graphics processor so we have option so i think this option is from the nvidia side so maybe the nvidia is the main reason why this is not working properly because i don't have to do this setting if i have this option i can actually go here and choose the integrated graphics which is the intel graphic and i can just select this and it should work but it's not so somehow windows 10 1909 is preventing this from happening okay so i have i had to do this to work, make it work the obs is now working but there's another problem so as you know there's a streamlabs obs okay so this is a obs but made by other people streamlabs so sl obs okay so i'm just going to open this as you can see display capture is added nothing is working okay so i'm going to try to do the same thing all right i'm gonna try to do the same thing display settings and uh, graphics settings classic app browse and i'm gonna browse for the uh, sl obs okay streamlabs obs i know this is going to be a big trouble for those people who have a dual graphic card and they don't know how to fix it but because there is no answer in internet yet for this problem so choose your streamlabs obs 
hit add and after that i'm gonna do the same thing because i want to record it using streamlabs so i'm just gonna choose the power saving which is a intel graphic card by the way so i'm gonna save that i'm gonna close the settings and uh, i'm gonna run the streamlabs obs and see what happens okay all right it's loaded i'm gonna hit the plus icon and i'm gonna add the display capture okay add source display capture all right you can see this is still blank so what this means maybe the streamlabs obs needs updates so it can use the intel graphic card maybe there is a new intel driver which comes with the windows 10 1909 which does not support the streamlabs obs that could be the one reason and other reason could be the windows 10 1909 is blocking somehow blocking the streamlabs obs from using the intel graphic card uh, i don't know if it will work let me try to download the minecraft for you really quickly just to demonstrate you guys all right i have downloaded the minecraft and let me just demonstrate to you really quick okay i don't know how to do that okay i'm just gonna open that okay and i'm gonna try to add minecraft in streamlabs obs game capture add source add source okay and i'm gonna add a specific minecraft you can see I'm able to add the minecraft here that's because the minecraft is running using nvidia it's not running using intel so yeah i don't know what's the problem with this as i said it could be problem of streamlabs obs or the problem of windows 10 1909 which is preventing the streamlabs obs to use the intel graphic so yeah hopefully you got what i mean so still in windows 10 1909 you cannot record desktop using streamlabs obs so just keep in mind this problem is only for those people who have a dual graphic card intel and nvidia or intel and amd so if you have a single graphic card you will not face this problem so that's it so that's how i fixed my problem and uh, yeah here are some comments interesting comments about the windows 10 1909 in my video what I, the video i made last time some people are saying that it runs like speeding train okay really good some people are saying the obs is working after the update that's probably because you have only one graphic card okay some people are saying the the bug they are getting is like they cannot turn up or down the volume of bluetooth speakers I don't know because I, ha I don't have that so i would like to try but i cannot so some people are saying that file explorer is freezing okay see, these are some comments that i got and uh, to be honest i always recommend doing a clean install of any windows feature update so let me show you here this is the website i'm going to show you where they have listed few bugs that might happen to you or that has happened to the other people okay <clears throat> okay for some people the installation is taking longer as you saw in my video it took like three to five minutes and i was ready so this is a big deal i don't know what is taking that long and why is taking that long maybe there are some softwares which is preventing the update or something like that and some visual bugs with the menu and right clicking taskbar so this thing this thing is actually i have seen it this problem so the other day i was assisting my friend in his pc and uh, i was trying to right click in in his menu like i can right click and i i will get the option but in my friend's pc i didn't get that option so he has that problem so you can see this is the problem right clicking problem so the another thing like task view animations are lagging and uh, some people are getting this code when they are trying to install and some people can't even use or i can't even update to the windows 10 1909 so you can see here so this is like small list this is not a entire list of bugs of windows 10 1909 but 
there are many so the thing is like let me just talk generally okay you know there is no way telling that what type of bug or issue you will get so that's the only thing like it, it is just random it anything could happen to your pc after you update just like me i got the problem with the obs and stream obs is not even working for me properly as you saw so i somehow fixed the obs studio problem so i think this problem is for all the people who have a dual graphic card so don't ignore that this is a problem this serious pro problem by the way so you know there so in simple words what i mean is that there you can get any type of problem issue or something like that and uh, for that to you know prevent that happening you should not update that is the first thing and second thing if you want to update back up your files you know important files and after that do the clean install it will make everything like fresh and you know what i mean so yeah i know some people don't like to do that because they have lots of files lots of programs and to be honest lots of games okay <laughs> so this is funny so in my last video i got the comment saying that i cannot reinstall my windows because i have so many games installed and it will take a lot of time to install them back so i, I get you i get you but to escape from the issues you should not install the update or you have to install the like clean install the windows 10. so choice is up to you now what do you want to do so let me tell you one story which is a true story which happened to me when i got the windows 10 1909 update so the thing is there is a software called connect okay so this software is like i use this to record my android screen from my pc so that's how i do it and uh, after i got the windows 10 1903 update this wasn't working so i did lots of search on internet and i didn't find any solution so after that i reached out to the microsoft and they assist me and then they tried everything they even updated my windows 1903 using iso and that didn't help so it didn't work so at the end they said please clean do the clean install of windows 10 and after that it did work so even the <laughs> microsoft uh, customer support people didn't like couldn't help me so i had to do the clean install anyway so what i mean is that there are some bugs actually the almost all the bugs with the windows 10 feature updates are like terrible sometimes you can't fix them so yeah i'm just gonna say it one more time just do the clean install first back up your files important files you cannot back up your installed programs maybe there is a way but i will try to do a video on it if there is a way but uh, yeah important files backup and all that kind of stuff and after that do the clean install if you don't want any problem so yeah that, that's it i don't want to talk too much about the windows 10 updates or anything like that but hope you get the idea of what i mean so there is no telling what type of bug you might get because people are getting random bugs like i got the bugs related to obs because that's a bug with the dual graphic card some people can't even install because there might be a software which is preventing the thing happen from happening okay and some people can't use the bluetooth speakers volumes it could be a uh, some software related software thingy it could be anything so that's why you know if people get the random bugs there is no way to fix them the, the simple fix is that do the clean install or never update your windows 10 normally so yeah that's it and yeah i don't want to talk too much so i will put link in the description for my old video where i did the thing like i installed 
the Windows 10 1909 and after that I got the bug and all that kind of stuff so if you are interested you can go there and watch that and I will also put other important links and one more small suggestion you can do the Google search saying Windows 10 1909 bugs and you click on some site you will see a list of bugs people are getting so it's not like one guy is getting that problem it's random random bugs to the random people so <laughs> it's really confusing that you can't tell what type of bug you might get into so yeah it's always safe to do the clean install once you back up your files and all that kind of stuff so yeah that's it i don't want to talk too much but hope this video was helpful and yeah if you have any question or if you have any opinion different than me then let me know in the comment section below we will fight it comments if you have a different opinion i mean just chit chat okay that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye